everyone. Welcome to another Authors Press exclusive virtual interview. My name is Nicole Richardson and I'm gathered here today with Gloria Maya, the author of the book The Good and the Bad Witch. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, Gloria? Yes. I'm a mom of four sons and I'm also a grandmother. I have four grandchildren and I am hundred percent Hispanic and I'm proud of my heritage. I'm an immigrant of Mexico and my education is early childhood and um, work experiences has been in education, transportation and healthcare. Could you give us a little synopsis of your book? What is your book about? Okay, my book is about um, the good witch and the bad witch. It is a, a story, a fairy tale story of two little witches, the adventures of the two little witches. Okay, I see. Uh, is this the first book you've ever written? I yes, it is. Okay. Now that you mentioned, yes, it is my first, my first, and probably the only book that I will ever write as far as children's books because this story, this book that I published. Um, was a story, a bedtime story that that I actually made up um, in 1995, 96 to one of my children, and uh, he didn't want to hear the old stories of that I used to read and back then. And he just one night he said, "Mom, make up make up a story," and it was hard at first. But then I made up a couple of sentences, and my son was sound asleep and so I just the next day I just wrote the sentence and I added more and more and then I read this story oh gosh maybe two years three years and then he was old enough to read it on his own and and that's what I did um and I and if I was to actually sit down and write a story, a children's story, I don't think I could do that anymore. But I would like to write more books, but not in regards to children's books. Maybe a memoir of myself, my family. Do you write for a living or is it just a hobby? Well, actually, it's not maybe a hobby some a friend of mine encouraged me to write this story and and I went ahead and and you know published the book um, just for other children to enjoy the story that my son had enjoyed when he was five years old okay I see so you wanted to pass the magic along to other kids as well exactly okay uh, you have already answered this question, um, but I would like to ask you more detail about it. What exactly inspired the idea for this book? Like, where did the idea for the good and the bad witch come from? Yes, um, okay, like what I said earlier, um, my son didn't want to, I used to read all kinds of books for him, um, Cinderella, um, um, just Winnie the Pooh, uh, the tortoise, uh, and, and so the last book that I picked up back in 1995, uh, it was Cinderella. And so, um, my imagination when I made up the story and thought about the castle and things, you know, story about the Cinderella book. And so, so I just went ahead with that. And then with the children, you know, the school age kids and, you know, they would, um, I wanted to, to reinforce the good behaviors and the bad behaviors to, to the readers. So that's where the title came about. Uh, this isn't one of the interview questions, but I am a little bit curious. Was there any 
uh, inspiration from the Wizard of Oz story? Uh, there is a little bit of it. Yes, there is. I can see that, actually. I can see can it. Can you? Oh, my yeah. God. Well, you know what? Um, yes, absolutely. Um, it is from Cinderella and the Wizard of Oz. Um, it has a little bit of everything. Like I said, I used to read all kinds of children's books to my children. And so being a, a young mom reading every night daily, and those are the books that that I imagined when I was making up the story. Okay. And, and, you know, and that's, you know, writing this story and then coming up with the illustrations of my book. Um, you know, I want to really influence children, the importance of nature, how important and the beauty and to preserve it. Hopefully, you know, to my readers, my young readers. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's it's easy to make an impression on children. It definitely is. Exactly. How much research did you need to do for this book? Oh, Nicole, I didn't. I did not do any research. Like I just got done telling you that I read a lot of stories, um, bedtime stories, to my children, and so. The, my imagination just, you know, I just made up, you know, every sentence, every story that you, I don't know. Have you read my book? Uh, yes, I've read through it. I Okay, so glanced it. Yeah, so I, I didn't have to do any research. I just, you know, like like I said, it was, it was um, you know, it, kind of pieces from the Wizard of Oz and Cinderella and, and just, the outdoors and nature and you know things like that so i didn't do any research what i did do research on was um the illustrations you know like you know it was kind of difficult for me to to get the illustrations of you know the outdoors and the forest and things like that that i had to do and sometimes i just kind of hit bottom but you know, thank goodness I didn't have to do any research as far as, as my story. Right. Um, did you plan it as you, as did you plan before you wrote the book or did you write as you went along? It kind of seems like you just wrote as you went along with minor inspirational pieces. Yeah, <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's just what I did. And I can tell your work experience that you are very um, knowledgeable from uh, speaking to authors and and uh, just interviews. You are right, that's correct. I heard you say earlier that there was some magic that you were trying to pass along to your readers and um, other people who are interested in your book. Do you feel like the, do you think that there was a connection to that aspect of your son uh, wanting more for his story? Um, yes, I, absolutely. Um, of course, being five, six years old, um, you know, whether a male or female, they're always uh, venturing out, you know, exploring and, you know, wanting and looking for other things. And yes, definitely. Okay, yeah, I can definitely see that this story kind of connects to <laughs> yes. you. This story kind of connects to you and your son and the relationship you have with him. So, exactly. How do you want this book to impact your readers? Um, definitely, I would. I would like. Um, I would really would like to um, to touch the lives of every young reader in regards to the story um, in many ways as far as, like I said, um, to enjoy the, the beauty of nature, uh, to preserve it. Uh, you know, it's very important. And, and also my title, The Good and the Bad Witch, um, also to influence them that there are good, positive behaviors and there are bad 
negative behaviors. And the outcome of that, when we have good, positive behaviors, we're all happy. As Briella and Abigail, you know, they have a little bit of disagreements there, which is not a good behavior, but at the end, they end up happy. And I, I hope that my readers will see that and will change their life you know, as growing up. Okay, I see. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Uh, I think you've already mentioned that there was not really much of an effect, but um, how did writing this book and publishing it uh, impact your life? Uh, I like, I don't think, uh, not much, not much at all. Um, I. It has changed me in some way, you know, that, you know, now that I have my book published and um, I want, I want uh, every young reader to hopefully, you know, get this book and, you know, and get influenced in, in a positive way, in a good way. Yeah, yeah, you just want to have a positive impact on your readers. Exactly. Okay, and I've just got a couple more questions for you before we tie up the interview, so. Sure. Are you pleased with the general outcome of this book, or would you go back and change anything if you were given the chance? Oh, no, I'm, I'm very pleased with, with my book. Um, there is nothing that I would change it at all. That's good to know. Uh, where can we purchase this book? Do you have a website? Um, I have a, excuse me, my book is available on Amazon and anywhere you can purchase this book um, online, wherever books are sold. And also I have a, uh, a YouTube, uh, there is a, I have a trailer on YouTube, GloriaMayaBooks.com. Okay. Thank you for telling us your website. I appreciate it. Um, Oh, you're and welcome. Thank you. Do you have any final book-related thoughts or remarks you'd like to make before we end the interview? Mm. Nothing no, you can I, think I of? don't think. Pardon me? Nothing you can think of? No, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Okay. And for my final question, I would just like to ask, how has this interaction with Authors Press been so far? Oh, I am very pleased with um, with Authors Press. Um, I'm every call that I have made. Um, your personnel staff is always there to answer my questions. Um, um, you've done very well in office calls and and any questions I have in regards to you know to my publishing or any anything like that. I'm very pleased with the services with Author Press. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, just to add on to that question, is there anything that we could do better in the future? No, absolutely not. Uh, you've done a great job. Um, very, I have to say, um, your staff is very knowledgeable in every department. Uh, we feel that asking our authors directly is the best way to get feedback, so. Yes, absolutely. That's all the questions I have for you today. So thank you so much for meeting with me and discussing your book. I appreciate all the little insight you've given us so far. Well, thank you. And um, I don't know how this video is going to be because we started out bad and I don't, I mean, I can't, I can't see you at times it comes back and it's just. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time and your patience to all of you. No worries. I'm glad that I can help you and I'm glad I could provide this interview for you. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to Authors Press, either via phone or email, and we're always here to help. But other than that, that's all I have for you today. Thank you. God thank bless you. you. <laughs> thank you again for meeting with me and have a wonderful day. And thanks to our wonderful Same listeners to you. for tuning in. Stay safe and have a wonderful day.